I'm Chris Watkins. I'm the Field Solution Engineer Manager at Whelan. Whelan Cloud Platform is connecting emergency vehicles to the cloud and allowing us to have more tools to increase officer safety and increase efficiency in fleet management. MyoVision's Opticom technology is traffic preemption. One of the more dangerous situations an officer can be in is traveling through a dangerous intersection. So it's better, safer, faster to give them the green light and the public the red light to give them safer intersections to travel to an emergency scene. Preemption um, is doing so much in making sure that intersections are cleared for us, uh, turning the, the traffic lights green, making sure the traffic starts to flow. When you're approaching an intersection and you're running lights and siren and law enforcement, that's one of the most stressful times because a lot of officers across the country die every year running lights and siren. So with this new program, the preemptive program, it's going to take a lot of uh, weight off the officer's thought process when he's running lights and siren because now he's not gonna have to worry about, is that light gonna change? Is it gonna turn to red just before I get there? Is there another patrol car coming to the same intersection? That takes all that off the table. So it's one less thing for the officer to have to worry about. Responder to responder is the ability to let officers know of a possible and potential collision with another emergency vehicle, even outside their agency. Through CORE, we can flash the control panel, we can give them a DVM alert, a visual voice message alert, uh, or potentially add additional lighting in the vehicle to draw their eyes to the left and right of their vehicle. Responder Responder works outside of even their agency. So other fire departments, police departments, or any other emergency vehicle on the R2R &R network will give warning to that vehicle. The Responder to Responder is one of the most useful tools that you can have. Um, when you're running lights and siren to a call, there are so many things going on in that car that you are pretty much task saturated. Um, you are listening to the radio as to what's going on on the call. You're listening, you're looking at the computer where notes are being updated telling you what is now happening, who to make contact with, where you're going, and things evolve and change so quickly that it may change two or three times before you can even get to the call. You know, drivers are more distracted now than ever. So it's you know not just what's going on in that police car, it's what's going on in the 150 cars you know, that you're going to pass or encounter on the way to, to those scenes, including other you know, police vehicles that are responding. Adding maintenance to the platforms increased another feature for Wheel and Cloud. Uh, agencies are able to keep up with their maintenance on their vehicles, uh, set up reminders for oil changes, brakes, uh, and other services that need to be done to the vehicle. Agencies prefer to have a single platform to go to this type of data. Uh, currently today, they may subscribe to two, three, four, and five different platforms to get data, and to get those platforms to talk is very hard to do, but having all of this built in one platform, it's one place to go and one place to share the information with multiple people in the agency. The vehicle maintenance is very good because from a fleet management perspective, um, I can see when a check engine light comes on on a car. I can see what the code is, and I can order parts without the deputy having to waste time and down his vehicle. It, it really helps me be able to plan for um, vehicle shortages and, and, and staffing levels and everything else. There's a lot of people that drive distracted radios up loud and so forth, but most people have their GPSs turned on in their vehicle. And to be able to get an alert on your car saying, hey, there's an emergency vehicle approaching or there's an emergency vehicle stopped on the side of the road um, has increased safety twofold. Wheeling Cloud Platform can actually uh, put the officer in control of digital alerting. Uh, anytime a vehicle's in responding mode or has their lights activated, the officer actually has a choice of turning on public alerting to let the public know there's an emergency scene ahead or an emergency vehicle approaching if the emergency vehicle's in motion. Uh, the public driving down the road will get a uh, notification on their navigational map of emergency scene ahead or emergency vehicle approaching. Digital alerts are gonna give the public that extra crucial time to either move over for emergency scene ahead or pay attention to vehicles and approaching emergency vehicles behind them. I mean, you, you literally will see people moving out of ways 
and not that they saw the, the, the car coming up to them, but because they see that something's coming up behind them um, on their GPS. Geofence Control Techs, my favorite feature. Uh, it's the ability for us to make a core system work differently inside versus outside a geofence. We can geofence an intersection, and as an emergency vehicle approaches, we can add additional, more aggressive lighting, more aggressive siren tones, even make our Argus sweep as the officer is approaching the intersection. We have the geofence at our installing and upfitting shop so, so it can be utilized. Um, when they come to the office, they know that when they pull in the parking lot, they're inside the geofence. The car is going to start looking for its updates, doing all the updates that it needs to do. Um, and then the configuration, they, they know to leave their car running for a few minutes so the configuration process can go through. And then they're good. They, they don't ever have any issues with it. So we're able to push firmware updates through the geofence. Uh, we're able to push command updates. If, the, if they want it to flash a different way, do a different thing, we can push all that over the cloud and not have to bring the whole fleet in just to make a change or fix a, a bug. Say it enters a school zone or a work zone, uh, intersections that they need to clear, they can make the car do whatever it needs to do without the officer having to reach down and do it. It, it automates everything that they're doing. And it keeps them focused on what they're trying to do instead of focused on how to make the lights get them there. Utilizing the latest technology to increase safety and efficiency is your best tool. Uh, Wheel and Cloud Platform specifically designed for emergency services, and we're tailoring our features for our emergency responders. Uh, this type of technology is gonna make your job easier, faster, and create a safer environment for you to work in.